Welcome friends. Now we will be learning about trim entities. For that, first of all, I am making a few lines. Now you can see um, we do want to have uh, this line cornering it here, and we want to remove this extra material, this extra uh, portion of the line. We want to remove it. So I am taking trim entities. In this number one is power trim. In the power trim, I am just left clicking my mouse and dragging through the, in these uh, this unnecessary portion, and you can see that has been trimmed out. So this is this is our power trim command. Now. Next is our corner trim command. With this corner trim command, I can make corners uh, of two lines that are not parallel. Clicking this one and then clicking this one, you can see they have been cornered. So this was our corner command. One more thing I want to sh uh, show you about this command. For example, this is a line. This is a second line. Now you can see there can be two corners. Uh, the, the, there can be uh, two ways to generate the corners uh, with these two lines. Number one is to, uh, I am showing you, this way and then this way. First the corner can be made in this way and in second way the corner can be made. in this way, in this orientation. So how, how I will be deciding which, how I will be acting upon the uh, corner command to make, make sure that uh, I make the corner in the desired direction. Let me show you. This is the corner command. I have clicked on this line. Now if I click on this side, it means the corner will be made up in this, in this direction. You can see that. Now once again, I have clicked on this line. Now if I click on this side of the line, I have decided to make the corner in this direction, in the opposite direction. So this way the corner command will uh, work. Now. Suppose I have these two lines. In between these two lines, there is this line completely inside these two lines or the, the boundary of these two lines. There is a line that is crossing through the both of the lines, both of the boundary lines. And I do want to delete the what is inside these two lines. I want to delete that and uh, furthermore I want to I don't want to delete a line that is going through one but uh, remaining inside uh, inside the uh, the area of these two lines or uh, or in other words it is uh, coming through one line but doesn't pass through the second line it, it remains inside so now for this, uh, this command, first of all, I have to define the boundaries. This one is my boundary, this one is my second boundary. Now, if I click on this line, you can see both the lines, uh, th those who are inside, let me show you once again, this line and this line. I, I want to delete these two lines, but I don't want to delete this line. This is a peculiar case, so I am using trim entity command, trim away inside command. So 
these two will be deleted but this the third one will not be deleted you can see that uh, for for that first of all i have to define the boundaries now i will be selecting over all these three lines but you can see the inside two lines have been deleted and uh, the outer portion of the line is there and the third line hasn't been trimmed out at all so this is trim away inside command same way Now I want to trim out what is outside of these two lines, this line and then this line. So I will be using trim away outside command. Now first of all I will be defining the boundaries, this one and then this one. Inside this line I don't want to delete anything but outside these two lines I want to delete everything that is there. But again the special case is that uh, the line that is crossing through, entering through one line but uh, remains inside and doesn't exit through the uh, the second line that i want to skip out so now i have defined the boundaries now i'll be selecting over the lines now you can see the line which was purely out of this uh, this boundary that has been deleted and the line that was crossing through both of the lines that has been de deleted and the third thing thing you can see is the line was starting from this side that extra portion going outside of this line was also deleted and in the, at the same time the extra portion that was going outside of the other line that has also been deleted so this is the use of trim away outside command both are uh, almost similar trim away inside command and trim away outside command both are almost similar now Suppose this is our line and this is a second line. Now, I do want to extend this line so that it uh, it goes in the alignment of this line, the upper one line. Suppose this is the I want to show you. This is the alignment of this line. And I want to make sure that this line extends further and uh, stops where the uh, linear extension of the upper line goes on, goes on. so uh, it, it should stop there i will be showing you how so i will be using trim to closest command clicking here oops i have clicked on first on the let me show you once again I want to extend this line. I have chosen for trim to closest command. Now, I have left clicked my mouse on this line and I, I have, I am keeping pressed my left click of the mouse and going to the second line. As soon as I go to the second line, I have left the uh, button of my mouse. So now you can see the line has extended to the linearness of this line. This is trim to closest. The difference between this line and, uh, and the corner command is yeah, this command and the corner command is that uh, in the corner command the both ends do meet. But in this, uh, in, the, in this command both the ends do not meet. Only the, the command only goes to the uh, to the linear extension of this, uh, this line. This is the trim to closest command.